guys, it's Wasama Undecided. Okay, so today I have all this stuff out on the table that I want to show you. Um, I will start first with these. These are um, Bob Marley's Mellow Mood drinks. You know how energy drinks um, make you like energetic and full of just ready to go and they make you shake and everything? These are the opposite. These make you more relaxed, like they relieve stress and tension and um, if you can find the ones that still have melatonin in them, they'll even make you go to sleep like, like that, instantly. Um, when they first came out they had melatonin in them and I would usually start a TV show or a movie or something, get about 5-10 minutes into it and I'd be just passed out snoozing. Um, that's how good they were. And I love these. I will drink, usually I drink about one a day. Um, and they come in citrus, which citrus has two different uh, colors. They have this one that's got the green and yellow and red on it, and this one just has the yellow. But they're both citrus. And then there is also berry. Um, I prefer the citrus, as you can tell. These are all citrus. This is my only berry one. Um, I've only had one berry and I can't remember what it tastes like so I'm going to try it again. So I recommend them to everyone. Um, in New York you can find them at Wegmans and some gas stations sell so, them um, for about $1.97 I believe or $1.67. You can also get them at Spencer's and Hot Topic for I think two dollars or two seventy five or something like that. Uh, Spencer's and Hot Topic are more expensive but if you don't have a Wegmans nearby or a gas station that sells them uh, you can get them at Spencer's and Hot Topic. Okay so uh, as you can tell I've already drank one so I will think I'll pop open another one and we will try a berry. <clears throat> it's not bad has more of a fruity flavor. Um, the citrus it reminds me of kind of more relaxed Mountain Dew flavor. Uh, so if you like Mountain Dew, Mellow Yellow, uh, Sprite, this would be the drink for you. This one is more, um, I don't know how long it's been, but they had a fruit flavored Sprite one time. And that's kind of what this one tastes like. So. It's really good. Um, it's also good if you mix it with alcohol, which I have done. Um, the citrus, if you mix it with amaretto, it'll give you a kind of mix between amaretto sour and the regular citrus drink, so it's really nice. The other thing, today, Taken 2 came out. Can you see that? Yes, it is an awesome movie and I got it today. I got the Blu-ray DVD and digital copy one because it has more extra features on it um, down there. More extra features than the other sets that they had today. So that one. Awesome. What else did I get? Princess Bride. I bought that today because it's in the $5 bin at Walmart. So if you are interested in watching this or if you love the movie like I do and have never bought it, the $5 bin is where you want to check that out. The third movie I got uh, was Men in Black 2. That was also in the $5 bin. Um, I've got this one because my brother and my soon-to-be sister-in-law got one and three for me for Christmas. So it was just natural that I had to get two. Then this, I don't know if you can tell, is Magic the Gathering Deck Builders Toolkit. Um, I have the 2012 starter kit um, that I bought. It was like the day before it came out for 2013 starter kit. So I kind of got ripped on that one, but no one at Walmart would tell me. They probably didn't know anything about it anyways. But this was $20 at Walmart also. And it's just a big box of 285 right? Yep. It's just a big box of 285 cards in it. Um, and it says, the Deck Builders Toolkit puts 285 cards at your disposal with everything you need to create multiple decks. No two toolkits are alike. 
Each box contains 125 semi-randomized cards suitable for building several different magic decks, four 15-card booster packs, um, 100 basic land cards, a deck builder's guide, magic learn to play guide, and a full art reusable card storage box. So that's what's in this. Okay, so since I have this and I have all of you here with me, I will open this and see what we have in the box today. Plastic. I can never get this stuff off usually, like those DVDs. It is going to take me forever to get those on there. So we have a pretty yellow box. When I say pretty, I mean that in the utmost respect for magic. But a pretty yellow box with a dragon on it. Dragon on both sides. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is the inside. And this is like, I have never played Magic the Gathering. I just, I have a um, starter kit. And now I have this deck builder's card set. So, if anyone ever wants to play, hit me up in the chat and we'll see how we can do that. Okay, so this is just a spacer that was in inside. So we'll set that over here. Okay, now we have four packs. Um, these are Innistrad. And a strad. I, I can't pronounce that because I can't make out the last letter. But that's that's one. And then a Vashran restored. And these are all 15 card booster packs. And then we have 2013 core set. And just another 2013 core set. And then we have four of these packs. And I probably, I won't go through most of them, but we will check that out later. What is this? Okay. This is the 2013 core set deck builder's toolkit. So we'll open it up. And I believe this tells you how to build your deck over here and then it has suggestions for deck themes on the side so that'll be neat I'll have to look at that later if I can get it folded back up again it's kind of like folding a map usually no one can do it right but we always try um, this way maybe? No, no, I definitely had to go that way. Okay. Okay, we'll just, we'll get to it later. That's what we'll do. And this last one is, what is it? Ah, uh, the directions on how to play Magic the Gathering, which I have studied intensively. But have not yet played, so probably by the time I do get to play, I still won't know what the heck I'm doing. So this is how to play, and it shows step by step what you need to play. And this is how to play on the back. So that would be good for first timers like me who have never played before. Um, they actually. The only card games I have ever played like this was, there were two. I started on Pokemon with my brother, because he got into that really heavily in elementary school, and so I played that with him. And then when Harry Potter came out, the first couple of movies, they had a Harry Potter card set. And I still have my Harry Potter collection card set, because I loved it. It was easy to play. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. Actually, once I learned how to play Pokemon, the Harry Potter one was similar rules and everything, so it was really easy to play. And by the looks, 
Magic the Gathering is very similar to both those also. But once I get to an apartment or my parents' house, which I will dread, I will try and find my Harry Potter deck and show you all what I have of it. It's probably, it's about this size box, about the size box full of cards. And, um, and like a play mat like one of these would be. So, with that, I will say goodbye. Or, what was it? Zai Jin in Mandarin. So, Zai Jin. <laughs>